Hello again, friends. Welcome to Subscribers. I'm Brian from Apex Detail. You know, I often get asked, hey, I see your videos and what you review, but what do you personally use in the shop for this or for that? Uh, for instance, for a pre-wash, for bug splatter removal, for traffic film removal, clay lube, uh, clay, your decontamination for ferrous metals. So I'm going to take you out into the shop right now and I'll show you everything I use, the entire kit from pre-wash all the way up until I lay the polisher on the panel for a correction and in between. I value your time as much as mine, so let's head out right into the shop, into the bay. I have a car ready and waiting for us. Let's get to it. Over the years, I've had the pleasure of testing just a ton of incredible products and product lines. And this here is the kit that I use from pre-wash all the way up to correction. So what you do with the information is completely up to you. But I use the CarPro Triple Threat as uh, a snow foam. That does three things for me all at once. I'll show you that in just a few minutes. I use the NanoSkin uh, non-acid wheel cleaners to take care of the wheels. I use the CarPro Reset for my contact wash. Gion Iron Remover for the ferrous metals, Angel Wax Revenge for bug splatters, Nano Skin Glide for the clay or the auto scrub system, and the Angel Wax Strip Ease to prep the surface for a correction, get rid of old waxes and sealants. Okay, so after a thorough rinse initially, I'm going to start off with the CarPro Iron X Snow Soap. This is a triple threat for me. This pre-wash here will help to start to break down traffic film. It'll start to work on the ferrous metals, and it'll also be a great pre-wash lube to sort of lift up the grit, encapsulate them, and get them ready to be rinsed off. We're prepping the surface now for contact wash. Depending on the package, I'm going to put a layer of this snow foam here on absolutely every surface that I can reach. Your painted surfaces, wheels, wheel wells, undercarriage if I'm going to include an undercarriage package. And after I have it laid down, I'm going to let it dwell for about 10 to 12 minutes. It gives me a chance to walk around, agitate in areas that uh, my wash mitt will not reach. That way I can rinse away easily. You can get the CarPro Iron X Snow Soap in different sizes. I'll get the 34 ounces for $27.99. For what it can do, it's a great price. Very effective and my favorite for pre-wash. After that's been down there, I let it dwell for, again, 10 to 12 minutes, and it's time for a thorough rinse. Okay, after that first step, I'm going to take a look and see if there's any bug splatter left over. And if there is, I'm going to go ahead and grab Angel Wax Revenge to take care of that. That is a spray gel. We're going to spray that on, let it dwell again for a couple minutes. I agitate that with a small, soft microfiber pad, give it a thorough rinse, and time to move on from there. I choose this one here. It has an absolute perfect balance. It's safe for waxes, sealants, paint protection film, clear bra, coatings, yet very effective on removing any remaining buds, bug splatter after that first step or the pre-wash. A little bit goes a long way with this product. This bottle will last me for quite some time. 16 ounces for $14.99. Take your time and thoroughly rinse this product as well, and that's going to go for all the products you're going to see in this pre-wash, contact wash, and decontamination stage. All the products should be thoroughly rinsed before moving on. Okay, absolutely perfect. Time to move on to the next step. All right, for me, the next step will bring us to the wheels. And when it comes to the wheels, I'm going to grab the Nano Skin Non-Acid Wheel Cleaner. This, again, has the perfect balance, and that includes everything. It's price, it's being safe for all wheel types, and it's effectiveness, breaking down contaminated wheels, wheels with bonded brake dust, and you name it. 
By the way, that's not the only chemical I use down here when doing the wheel arches, tires, and wheels, calipers. I'm going to also team up the non-acid wheel cleaner with Purple Power uh, degreaser. That's cut 5 to 1. That's going to be used for the wheel wells and tires. I'll spray that back into the wheel barrels as well. So here I'll start off with the wheel woolies, grab the barrel of the wheels, then I'll grab a brush and take care of the wheel wells and tires, a soft detail brush for the face of the wheels, I'll go after the calipers with those as well. If it's a wheel off, it makes it so much easier, you can get the back of the spokes with uh, a nice soft detailing brush. If not, I have a dedicated little microfiber mitt that I'll reach in there with my hands and grab the back of the spokes. Then it's time again for a thorough rinse. That will now bring us to the contact wash. And these are the steps uh, that I like to do in, in this order. The order may be a little bit different to you. There are no wrong answers. Uh, whatever method works for you, go for it. I'm behind you 100%. But for this step here, I'm going to reach for the Car Pro Reset. That's the easiest decision when it comes to contact wash. Two ounces in the wash bucket. I have three mitts ready to go. For this method here, I'm going to use three wash mitts. You can absolutely use more if you want to. I'm going to use this larger 10x10 10 10 Cyclone up on the top of the car. When I'm done with that area, I'll put it to the side, grab the other mitt, do the passenger side, put that to the side, grab the last wash mitt, take care of the driver's side, and then they all get put um, to the side, out of the way, to be washed, clean, dried on low heat, ready to go. Those wash mitts will never go back into the wash solution and introduce dirt from the car back into your wash solution. You want to cut down on scratching, marring, love marks. This is the way to do it. Grit guards are great. If you want to do your two bucket um, method, go ahead. I'm just telling you this will uh, produce less scratches than that method. Almost every car has a nice character line somewhere around the door handles. So I'm going to use one side of the wash mitt to take care of the top of the roof down to that character line. I'll flip over the wash mitt and take care of the rest of the vehicle from the character line down to the bottom, going in straight lines. And once again, you guessed it, time for a thorough rinse. You can get 34 ounces of the Car Pro Reset for 25 bucks. And there's so many car washers that are grouped together, they're hard to tell apart, but this one stands way ahead of the pack when it comes to being able to clean road film, uh, just general dirt, and be safe for waxes, coatings, and sealants, having uh, pH uh, intelligent surfactants. This will bring us to Gion Iron. This is what I use for the removal of ferrous metals. For the price, it's most effective on both wheels and clear coated surfaces. And on this car here, I'm going to treat the body line around the door handles down to the bottom of the car. Spray a nice even layer, let it dwell for 10 minutes, and I'm going to show you shortly what it should look like as it breaks down the ferrous metals that are embedded into your clear coat. This happens to cars that are brand new from transportation, sitting on the lot, or just even the first few miles of driving. This is what you're going to be looking for. The clear gel will turn into a pink or purple chemical you'll see running down the side of your car. That's the process of it breaking down the ferrous metal so you can safely remove it uh, from being embedded into your clear coat. It'll round off the jagged edges so you can safely remove it without really doing a lot of damage and scratching the car. I will provide a link at the top of the screen that'll take you to a video dedicated to ferrous metals, what they are, and how they are removed safely. Now that the properties of those ferrous metals have changed, we could safely remove it from the surface of your clear coat. I'm going to add a little bit of caution and safety to the process by using a wash mitt with some lubrication. This is just some simple uh, automobile shampoo, and I'll just rewash that whole section and again give it a thorough rinse. You can get the Gion Q2M iron remover for $19, 500 milliliters. You can also get it in 1,000 and 4,000 milliliter containers. That brings us to bonded contaminants. 
And as the debate wars on between clay bars and the synthetic scrub mitts, I myself use the Nanoskin Auto Scrub System, including Glide, as lubrication. I've used both for many years, and I find myself going back to the Auto Scrub. When used properly, the system causes less marring. I'll show that on a test panel, on a video. And uh, you do have to keep an eye on the condition of the mitt. That is imperative. When the mitt starts to go south, that's where the uh, marring begins. When it comes to the pads themselves, you can get it fine or just the regular scrub pad. You can get them in 6 inch. I like to get the 2 pack 4 inch for 59 bucks. I use the Nanoskin Glide for lubrication, 16 ounces for $12. You can attach the scrub system to a DA. I use it by hand. I can control pressure and use it safely. These will last for quite some time if you use proper care. Rinse it thoroughly and make sure it dries properly as well. All right, the results you see here, the completed job, could not have been achieved without the foundation. And that was the kit that I just showed you there, the cleaning process and the prep for the correction. And then, of course, the protection, which is a ceramic coating on top of both the wheels and the clear coated surfaces. After all the products that I've tested over the years, those are the products I use for those basic steps on a daily basis, and the results absolutely speak for themselves. Okay, so for the most part, that is the entire kit that I'll use from the pre-wash stage all the way up until I'm just about ready to start the correction. I'm going to pull a link down for every one of those products we covered today. And if you want to see more, I can show kits that I have from that process moving forward for the correction. Uh, I have a kit specifically that I use for hard clears, one for soft clears. I have kits for all-in-ones or one-step. I have kits to finish up the process. I can show kits uh, even further what I use for protection, waxes, coating packages, or... Uh, sealant packages. If you want to see those, any of those specifically, mention them down in the comment section. I'll put uh, some more videos on that subject together for you guys. Until then, Brian from Apex Detail, have a great day.